picture a tiger in your mind. What do you see? An orange tiger with black stripes? Well, I pictured a white tiger with black stripes. Did you know that there are different fur colorations in tigers? So how common is this? And how can scientists predict the genetic outcome of animal offspring? My name's Stacy with Six Flags Great Adventure and Safari. Now that you know so much about genetics, let's take a look at some pretty awesome animals. Tigers. Tigers are the largest species of cat in the world and are known for their beautiful orange and black stripes, which they have evolved to help them camouflage in their natural habitats. One species of tiger, known as the Bengal tiger, is native to areas of India. Although rarely seen in the wild, there are various phenotypes among this species caused by recessive alleles. The standard tiger, the golden tiger, the white tiger, and the snow white tiger. The standard phenotype is orange with black stripes similar to the Siberian tigers you see here. This is caused by a dominant gene, therefore it is very common. Because this trait is dominant, animals with a standard phenotype can have two different genotypes. Two dominant alleles, or one dominant and one recessive allele. The rest of the variations are rare because they are created by recessive genes. The golden phenotype is a light orange color with orange stripes. This is an autosomal recessive gene, meaning the same recessive gene must come from each parent. For our purposes, the genotype for this animal would be lowercase g, lowercase g. The white tiger phenotype, or white and black tiger, is also caused by an autosomal recessive gene. If W was the gene for this trait, their genotype would be lowercase w, lowercase w. The snow white tiger phenotype is the least common. They are white with white stripes. This is a polygenetic trait caused by multiple recessive genes. In our case, the genes for this animal would be lowercase wt, lowercase wt. Now, I'm going to try to stump you a little bit. Can a white tiger have two parents with a standard phenotype? Let's use a Punnett square to help us. Remember, a standard phenotype tiger only needs one dominant allele in order to show up in its phenotype. Let's call this dominant allele for fur coloration, capital F and the recessive allele, lowercase f. So, its genotype could be homozygous dominant, capital F, capital F, or heterozygous, capital F, lowercase f. However, the white tiger we are trying to make needs to be homozygous recessive, or have two recessive genes in order to be a white phenotype. Lowercase f, lowercase f. Therefore, if a heterozygous male made it with a heterozygous female tiger, out of four offspring, one of them would be a white tiger with a genotype of lowercase f, lowercase f. This is a 25% chance. So yes, a white tiger can have standard phenotype parents. If you want to go further, see if you can figure out what percentage of white tigers there would be if a heterozygous male made it with a homozygous recessive female. Animals are very diverse, even those within the same species. Learning about their genetics helps to explore how and why animals are the way that they are. Scientists can even use what they know of an animal's genetic makeup to aid in a species survival long term. 
With the help of zoological facilities around the world, scientists are able to study and learn from the genetics of endangered and threatened species. Thank you for joining us and make it a wild day.